But it was day one I lost four. I, I'm lo- talking to Seth. We're doing the show. And I see waving in the back. Like, yeah. So I'm like. And then the kid looks at me dead in the face and goes. <laughs> I got to get the f*** out of this. God, I got to get out of here. <laughs> what the f- Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to episode number 160 of the Optic Podcast. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by FanDuel, hey. Cheese and Shopify, and Factor. And I'll tell you what, my man Jalen Suggs just left. That's how you say it, right? It's not Suggs? Yeah, Suggs. Yeah, Jalen Suggs just left. Uh, Stop by, said, say hello. Here's a picture of us hanging out outside uh, of the building, just chilling. We just got back from a very, very successful uh, watch party major. Uh, I think, you know, we came in third place and not, 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 uh, nothing that we, nothing to be discouraged nothing to, about. Discouraged about. Yes. Thank what you. Well, people thought into? we were, yeah, people thought we were getting last. Yeah. So getting, did they? Well, yeah. Aches did last. No, like a, a, a lot of people thought we were going to get double rounded because we, we, we lost the last, we went 0 and 6 map count going into the event. So people were like, they're going to get rounded. Mm-hmm. But land is land. Doesn't matter about the pings. Land is Sometimes land. Sometimes when you just get to the event and you're on land, some people just play better. Me, actually. Yeah. Yeah, some yeah, people yeah. Play Never worse. was an online kid. No. But when it comes to land, I show up. What do you know? My good online teammates shitting the sheets. That's just how <laughs> that's just how it goes sometimes. Laniac. Yeah, it was nice to see them get the uh three oh back on. On the hair. Oh my god. Yesterday at the airport, we get off the plane and there was a cop standing there and he's like, Yo, scump. And I'm like, Yo, what's up? Like a literal, like police officer. Yeah. Walks up to me. He's like, is AG on the plane? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, all right, we're going to prank him. And I was like, okay. Uh, So me, Zinni, me, Zinni, and there was someone else with us. I can't remember. But it was me and Zinni. We walked out. It wasn't you. We walked out and he was there. And then he was like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to say he was making like offensive hand gestures. And and then I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. You can't be doing this on the plane to the flight attendant. So yeah, we come, yeah, 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 so, we, yeah. so we all, so we all, so they all come out of the plane, and I'm like, all right, everyone's here, and then I'm like, I like signal them to come over, signal the the cop. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm like, come on over. Nobody recorded this. Uh, Zinni did, I think. Okay, okay. But he's like, hey. Is your name uh, Amir? And and he's like, yeah. And he was like, well, I just got a report from one of the flight attendants that you were making offensive hand gestures. And he's like, you can't be doing this to people on the plane. And yeah. uh, Amir looked like, he, he was like, because at first I was tweaking, like a cop's coming up to me. I was like, oh, oh hell no. Nah. You, you weren't like, what when, I he, do? when he said scump, you weren't like. Well, then I was, but he started uh, walking up to me. So I'm like, I don't want and no And that trouble. can't be good <laughs> at an airport. <laughs> you know, I don't want any problems yeah, here. Yeah. Holy shit, that hotel was a shit show. You should have started Dude. running. Dude. Wait, what's wrong with the hotel? The hotel, my lights, they'd like flicker. They like wouldn't stay on. I, I, tw- I had to twist them everyone's shits like, like some nips. Everyone's like, yeah, you can just open the window. I, I opened my window and it's literally glass. I'm like, what the fuck are people talking about the whole weekend? Yeah, I'm just out my window. You got your window open, bro. My room was 80 degrees. No, mine was cold. Really? No AC, no nothing. It wasn't kicking on. The only thing I didn't like about my. Oh, yeah, it's so it's probably so cold over there that. They probably don't even allow it. <laughs> no the light AC. might freeze. Well, the thing is, is like the lights were flickering not because it was an uh, old hotel, it's because there's ghosts in that hotel. We're gone. It wouldn't affect it. The, but, but, That's why I say it now. It was a nice home away from home. Yeah. I love, yeah. I, I hadn't. I only- always respect the hotel room, unless it's got like bed bugs and poop in the bed, like in Miami. I'm like in Miami. Poop. And blood. Poop, blood, bed bugs. Ugh. At, I, that sounds like Miami. Beats, bears, I lifted up Battle the sheets. Battlestar Galactica. I lifted up the sheet. It's filthy. Yeah, no. Luckily, we were in downtown Boston, not uh, not Miami. Boston, Boston. Uh, we had a man. It was it was such a one. I love being in Boston. I haven't been there since 2014. Nate Chad and I were just talking about it yesterday. Like that, that's the last time we went for some Pax wow. East stuff. And then as soon as he said that, he's like, I'm like, I started like getting flashbacks. I'm like, this is the first time I met. Oh man, what the fuck? It doesn't matter. Anyway, I, I I thought it was good. The only thing I I have to say about the hotel is that my room was uh, room 1200, which was like you get off the elevator and it's right there. 
Like if I look out the people, I can see who's getting on oh, and off. So you hear was. Dong. Yeah. Well, no, no. I have I have my white noise on. Um, it was good. Yeah, Boston as a city. Uh, wow, great. Absolutely loved it. Uh, it was incredible. I mean, it was it was pretty clean. The food. The food was great. Oh. Um, Yvonne. How about the homeless? The sites. The s- None. Not a lot of homeless. Barely any homeless. Uh, nope. It wasn't like Seattle. No, no. Don't go to Third Street. You just. You're Don't just, go to Third Street past 10 p.m. You're just asking for it. Huh? You're just asking for it. Asking. <laughs> yes, that's the cloud. What do you mean? <laughs> well, you Did put that. Think- yeah, no, I was, I was, I was like, do, do you think that uh, even if you avoid that, like you can avoid, even if you avoid Third Street, like no. you're. No, it's can't avoid it. you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. Yeah, yeah. Seattle was bad. And Seattle from the last time we were in Seattle to, to the most recent time, it was like, it got, worse. got way worse. Uh, but Boston was fucking beautiful. Uh, it was, the architecture is insane. Really? Amazing Everywhere we city. ate was Bro, great. Everyone like was super nice. It like that. Great should, city. I'm not even joking. That's like a spot where like, I would go back. Yeah. No, like, like I, if someone's like, oh, yo, yeah. you want to go to Boston for the weekend? I'd be like, All like, right. I hope you Boston just, is on the tour every year. It's, I is it like an older Boston, city? Boston, Toronto, and us. Look, I hope the, like, it was Cobble, a great city. It's like Cobblestone Road, like, it's just, it's so nice. No, I like, listen, I've been a fan of Boston since 2014. Since, and Larry we didn't Bird. even get to go to like a Celtics game or. Dude, Larry Bird's home, dude. That's like my, my, my third favorite basketball player. Jordan, Shaq, Bird. Like, imagine like Brady was playing, we got to go to a. Patriots game while Brady was playing like Boston's dope. Boston was dope. Damn, God. Brady was what a him city, in that man. city. I what I like about, about the city the he most, literally like made that city. What I like about I the city the most is that unlike Dallas or unlike LA, like you can walk places there. Like this, like mm-hmm. Toronto is a really good example of a city like that. Chicago is a really good example of a city like that. New York, obviously, is a great example. Like Dallas, you don't really, you can't, you can't really go out and like. Walk. Nah. Like a five minute walk here where you need to go would be like, or there would be here like 20 minutes probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's far. It's like everything's far here. Everything's bigger in Texas, man. That's a, that's a factual great thing. Great city, though. Yeah, but overall, the event was great. Our setup was great. We had a couple hiccups. Um, we almost got our camera broken. The fans were, they were getting rowdy. You guys, as, as you would expect. Yeah, I, Wait, I was in the chat when that happened, and you could just, it was like the one of the of few times. You'll, yeah. But it was like one of the few times you can tell Seth's actually like mad, but he can't just like rage, rage yeah. but he kind of goes like silent. And I don't know, you could just tell you were pissed. Well, yeah. I didn't know there was like fans right there. So how was it set up? There was the cameras. This and is then us. You said there was this like is the us. Op, Those like, are the cameras. And then uh, behind like it two was feet, the, two feet, there's a rope. And then the, that's where everybody was hanging out. Like, were people just standing there, like, nah, like watching? No, nah, they were cool, cool people. Be- like, beeping through the... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but they weren't, like... <laughs> they were, nah, it's cool. I'm mid I don't mind that. I don't Mid-show, mind that. Yeah, no, I, I see somebody, like... Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, let me like, Dude, I lost full day one. Like, literally, day one, I, I love the fans, everyone that was there supporting, you know, it's cool. I didn't mind it. It was day one. I lost four. I, I'm lo- talking to Seth. We're doing the show, and I see waving in the back, like, yeah. So I'm like, and then the kid looks at me dead in the face and goes, <laughs> "I got to get the fuck out of this goddamn shit. I got to get out of here." <laughs> what the fuck? He, 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 he. He that chalked poor, your dope. Uh, hopefully, like, he doesn't watch this. Yeah, I mean, right. No, he he's will. gonna hey, watch hey, that. Yo, <laughs> like I bet in real life, both when like, ta. No, I, was no. Flat, I went like this. And in my mind, I'm like, come yeah, on. Listen, that guy's going to see this and just get a fucking pit in his gut? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Do it again. Oh hey, I support it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just I don't did, do it to me, though. I lost day You one, know who the last guy I saw do that? In... Yo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but... That was it. <laughs> <laughs> but why I lost full was because before that, our power strips were... The, the only place we could connect them, apparently, was into these two big-ass pillars. And they kicked that somebody kicked them twice. So our our lights, our TVs, everything in front of us, our our mics just all crashed. I think I might have seen that too. It, it, that happened twice, and then how the camera happened. Allow, how do you allow this? What? I wasn't even there. I was fucking bedridden. R- was it so Riley? Was, huh? Was Riley in charge to make sure that nah, doesn't happen? I mean, happen? Boston was like in charge, like it was their venue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. listen, but no so fucking complaints like should, except for those minor either. details. Yeah, yeah. But so that happened, and then and then the, and then the camera happened. So I, I was like, Are Wait, what y'all happened with the camera? Serious? Bro, that, I Wait, feel what like, like it was just like this, and just 
flops on forward right on the like wait, on, someone, the, on the way. Wait, does, it. did somebody like, like what back if up that into did, it? Well, no, so they put like a picture wall, like literally on the other side, like probably this far away from the cameras. Yeah. And they knocked it backwards. There was nothing holding the wall up besides like a bottle of liquid deaths. And they knocked the wall over into the back of the camera and it just. Damn. It's on a tripod. I feel like that it should break. Like if this. Hey, camera who, so who else we money for that camera? Did that, that camera get broken, man? No, it, no, it, 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 the focus wasn't working at first, but then apparently it just magically fixed. I don't it. Know. Yeah. Listen, that, bro, that General, shit shout, out, right. shout, out, shout out my man, General. He's he's knocked a couple cameras of ours down. Well, just one that one time, and I vlogged with that shit like forever. So like, they're, they're Sony cameras. Shout out to them, mega durable. But besides those hiccups, it was it was like a it was like a perfect event. I mean, we had a couple of internet issues as well with the setup, which was frustrating, uh, and it happened at the worst time. Conspiracy. Where, yeah, it happened at, like at the worst time. So on on day one, we had some issues. Like we were we would it would like Being throttled. The stream would like crash for a couple seconds, basically. Days two and three, I don't think we had any issues, and then day four. Like while we're playing phase, we got like our the worst of it, and we we got up to like one hundred twenty five thousand viewers, and then it hit, and then we dropped to like sixty five. Mm. So I was like, I mean, that's frustrating. I mean, obviously we want to have peak viewership and as many viewers as we can mm. for the show, and that happened like two or three times on Sunday. So I was I was a little bit frustrated with that. Mm. Um, obviously, I would be too. Yeah, hundred twenty-five thousand now. <clears throat> yeah, we hit one hundred twenty-five thousand while we were crazy. playing Phase on Sunday. We hit like a hundred while we were playing them in the winners semis, and then we hit one hundred twenty-five on Sunday. So, thanks to everyone that came out and showed love, man. It was yes, great. Well, I, I, the crowd was great. Uh, everything all around hype was. Venue was, was hype, dope. Hype was dope. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, didn't mind it. Was the feel of the venue, like. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, when we do the watch party, obviously, we love doing it. But, like, I just want to be able to go out and just watch one match, like, in the, in the stands. Like, up in the upper mezzanine. Sure. You know, go out there, maybe get some some a hot dog or something and just to yes. enjoy, like, a match up there. Like, in the, in the live atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, Because, like, we're doing the watch party. We're, like, we're not out in the arena. We were, like, in we were like in, a, in the VIP room upstairs. The venue was probably, like, what, 20 feet? like behind us through a wall um so we couldn't like really hear the crowd um but i mean it was dope but i would like to watch like i would have liked to watch one but i i we had to do the watch party mm. but switching notes toronto congratulations toronto looked insane phase obviously phase is phase they're super consistent uh, i can't remember the last time they've placed outside the top three they get second and then we obviously get third but toronto looked crazy and that's that boy dylan yeah shout out dill dude the prince yeah he actually tied priesta for priesta. most land wins in the cdl era shout out priesta and i believe that's six Dogs. i believe it's six is is is, is, is the most right now really so, yeah damn dude it's hard Wait, to win priesta has yeah what priesta. the fuck i thought it'd be the i thought it'd be phase priesta won three the trio Priesta won well, three last year. That's the narrative that well, everybody. He's the number one earner. That's the, bro. When I see Phase play, yeah. Nah, no, not. no way. Right? Probably, probably the Phase guys are probably still the top earners because they're they're just so consistent. Like they go to an event, they get like thirty k each every yeah. event, yeah. like Damn. minimum. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Envoy and Priesta hold the most titles in CDL. That's, yeah. I would not think that. Yep. Uh, uh, so I mean, I know out. they're beasts, but like, I just think, dude, when I think of that Phase trio, it's just. I don't know. It's just scary. Just like consistent. I assume them to win the event, and I don't know what happens when they get in finals because they've been there a lot. But I, I've, I just like expect them to win a lot more. Yeah, they have like a bad almost finals this event. event. I kind of thought they they were just gonna win this event, but it's almost like every every event that I watch them play, I'm just like, God, they're so good, yeah, they're yeah, so yeah. consistent. Yeah, and then I'm like expecting them to win, but then they'll just lose in finals. But talking about our team, I saw a lot of positives. Uh, we definitely got a clean up search. Hard points look great. I mean, really, the respawns in general. Control was 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 iffy. It was iffy, but it wasn't bad. Um, but hard point looked great, and that's kind of what you expect from a team with as much slaying power as we have. So I think, I mean, we're, we were right there in contention, in my opinion. If we play Toronto, are we beating them? I don't know. Toronto looked like yeah, they, they looked they different. Look, they looked different from Phase, and Phase beat us. So I mean, yeah. Are That's we beating weird. Toronto they if we beat FaZe? I don't know, but the boys definitely look like they, they made a lot of improvements from the end of the split to the land. So, yep. shouts out to them. Hopefully, uh, 
hopefully they keep improving because I, I mean I could see I, I see them hoisting gold at least once this year at least from what I saw this event yeah yeah, yeah. I think that they have the potential to hoist shouts out Pred and Kenny as well joining the team doing their thing Pred was going off all weekend Kenny he, playing good as hell as well yeah honestly AG I mean I was gassing the fuck out of him I was like you were everything like even though we lost you were not losing was he kind of getting some shit online like no. was he not when because they lost well they went what oh and six in their last two series and I feel like I, I would I would just see stuff on Twitter about him no like not performing no, or is that he, not the no, case no he was performing every every series even online uh Maybe not online. He might have. Had I just like felt a, like I saw some tweets, and then he went to the event online. Didn't online, stay. nobody online. The only person that really didn't have any like off maps was Kenny. Yeah, that boy was nasty. Yeah, and then obviously and then even on land, he obviously, had, like, obviously, he, Shotzi and, and, and Dashi, right? No, yeah, yeah, they're nasty. I'm saying yeah. like so the new, the new, um, the newcomers. I was, I was gonna say the the challengers who get first. Uh, Phase Black, Ace and Brack, Exceed and Cremp. That team sure. is about to get broken up. Cause shout out to them. I guarantee a couple of them are getting picked up. I mean, you I think? always, I think, I think Asim, I think Asim, if he wants to take an offer, he'll probably have one. And I think Cremp will get picked up. I think Cremp was was solid last year i think he's got potential uh to get picked up uh um, he's disgusting yeah, yeah I, he's disgusting. I would say at least i would say two or three of them are probably gonna get picked up because teams i mean there's no time to waste mm. we're already a fourth through the season if you think about it there's only four majors this year we start the online split in like 17 days uh from today so there's no time to waste like if you're gonna make a change you gotta do yeah, it yeah. now did they just dominate challengers <clears throat> Uh, we didn't really get to watch much challengers because it's ran at the same time. From, but I mean, from what I've seen, like on Twitter and everything, they've been the number one team and yeah. they just won the event. So. Yeah, they've I been keep seeing everything. clips of like a seam. Apparently, he's disgusting. Yeah, he's always been though. Yeah, I mean, there's no way he In does. Toronto it, days, he was fucking a beast. I mean, he's always been. So, what teams making a change now? I know, there's I know a, a good team change, but I don't want to say it because I fuck with the players. But I do know a good team change. There's like, gonna be. I, I think there'll be a few teams that inevitably make a change i mean again there's no time to waste you don't make a change now you have a bad major two you could already be like basically out unless you win everything yeah. yeah like the teams are gonna have to start thinking about making changes uh now and and it's it's tough because mid-season like the season goes by so fast like while you're in it um then you just can't let yourself get behind and so it's like you're forced to make these hard decisions and i think think some teams are gonna gonna be forced to make them and i think that team's about to get picked apart personally well as in get picked up yeah yeah 100 <laughs> yeah, percent. everyone went silent like, I, yeah. I was trying to no no we got it we got it um activision confirmed that sbmm is not only real but it's here to stay now obviously i am a big like oh i'm i'm super okay with it I'm I'm not a montage maker anymore. I don't create content like that anymore. And even back in the day when it wasn't, and it was all left up to luck. Like I I, I listen. I don't like losing, but I do like to feel like I I still got to work on myself and on my game. And I think Rank does a really good job at that. I don't know if if that, but ultimately what happened is that if anytime that skill based matchmaking and they were testing it was removed from certain games, they did like a sample a sample size. Uh, to see what would happen. And allegedly. Some, allegedly. Yeah, I mean, they could say whatever the fuck it is, right? Uh, if you make that a little bit bigger, Matt, I can read that for you. Our and so explain it, what you were saying. So they, they, they were running to Activision. Was, Call of Duty was running tests that said that when you remove Activision, our data shows that when lower skill players are consistently on the losing end, they are likely to quit matches in progress or stop playing altogether. This has an effect on the player pool. Motherfuckers raging. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. But but there is something to be said, right? Like you should if you're a, like somebody like me, I I would benefit I benefit daily by playing against better players because I I I get a little bit better and better. But if I was brand new like the boy, my my boys from home who just started like playing like 2 years ago and they play against someone skillful like myself then obviously they're going to be like it's just going to be boring to them right cuz they're just getting they're just getting fucked up they're not going to they, they they won't even have the 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 foresight to say you know what I could get better because there's never a gunfight where they're like oh my god I beat you know what I'm saying that sort of thing so 
Yeah, I mean, skill-based, it's annoying for content creators. I understand why it's in the game for the casual audience, uh, because obviously the casual audience has always outweighed the competitive audience. Duh. Um, Is everyone playing at the American Airlines Center basketball every single day? Every basketball player? No. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I understand it. It just... I, I, I don't like it. I mean, I, I want to make fucking pub stomping YouTube videos, and the only way to do that now is to be scummy and either reverse boost or VPN. It's like, and I, and I just feel weird doing- or join a e maniac lobby? And I feel, or play with, yeah, people that are way worse than you. And I just, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I get it. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why you th you thought I didn't when I say me skillful you said <laughs> thought I was gonna get you back motherfucker shit. Uh, but there is no hit reg, uh, damage based or aim assist based factors that affect matchmaking in any way. So that's that's good to know because obviously in Warzone, I feel like it was more prevalent in Warzone. People would be like, dude, I'm getting right. fucking aim assist. I'm Wait. getting skill based or I'm getting skill based hit reg, and you're like shooting someone uh, and your bullets are hitting. That, 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 that is was true. I don't give a fuck what they say. That now, is 100% true. Okay, Here's so the you, one thing I... Oh, they're saying it's not true, but yeah, you're it saying is. it is true. Here's the 100 one thing... 100% true. Like in the I new log, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Here's one thing I think that is in it. Like, all right, you you know when you go on a streak, every, like, say you go on a seven kill streak, every kill gets harder and harder. Like, it's like you're losing your aim assist mm -hmm. almost. Every kill gets hard, but you're streaking. I wonder. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's never happening. That's I know that's rhythm. Yeah, I know, but it's you don't feel like you miss like go off your streak. It's like, how the fuck did I go on a fifteen kill streak and just miss every bullet? But imagine on this if kid? they lied about that and then you find out that competitive players they're going on like six and seven streaks and and they're losing aim assist gradually. Imagine if that ever came out, people would lose their shit. So if that's not true and they're lying, they better cover they that do shit. Up. And also, <laughs> I, and, and, people and, will more, lose more importantly, more importantly, this better not. Uh, be applicable to competitive matches right because they do have like the same system so if the same system the same reality that is the universe of call of duty is being affected pubs they can't be like the, you can't turn that off they're on in a different private build. matches huh? they're, they're on a different build okay when like the cdl players they have like a cdl player like whenever you go to open the game it's like the game and then you have to drop down the window and go to cdl player so they're on a different build this is the quotation marks in the air air quotes I mean, no, it literally is. They were just playing on a later patch. Than no, I know. Right I'm saying, but you don't know. But we do know. No, you don't know. Because they could just say those numbers are the numbers. And they're just like, a they, they have a different. knows the thing knows he knows nothing at all. Yes. Young Sethi. Yes, 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 yes. I mean. But anyway, I have, wit I have witnessed. <laughs> I have witnessed it. And I've also, like, I, I haven't experienced it, but I have seen it over and over again in certain matches where I'm just like, I'm like, that dude should. Like, if I'm spectating someone, I'm like. That was a kill 100%. So that I, I, I wholeheartedly believe that they are not being truthful on that matter. I don't know. But I feel like they can't just lie. What? Or have, they, or have they? Who? Like you can't just say there is no hit rig, damage base, or aim assist base factors that affect, affect matchmaking anyway, but that just be a lie. Mm -hmm. See, I think I mean, maybe, assist, yes. maybe they think are so. just straight up lying, but. And then you go to point number two. So they've definitely been watching some people stream. Oh, yo, it's crazy you said that. I was just thinking, reading all that. So I've this read is all, all shit of that. I, about. I'm like, yeah, I just bought it. Yeah. I, God. I just bought well, I read all that, and everything that went through my mind is I can remember every moment Scump said every each one of those things. We were Wait, what? what? Yeah, I mean, that's not. Just me. No, Every, yeah, everyone no. says this. What, what, what? Say, say, what, what Purchasing they store away. bundles does not affect matchmaking because people will be like, if, if I buy a bundle, I'll get easier lobbies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You do. And then there's no AI in Call of Duty, and I'm sitting there like, that Yo, motherfucker is AI. Not real. <laughs> 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 there's no way that's a real person. I swear. So it's just funny, like going down. <laughs> okay, see, that, do you think that, I mean, they have to be testing. They have to be tasting bots in these lobbies to. Fortnite already did it. Yeah. They have to be. That shit was. Dog shit. Yeah, it's not even fun to play because you're yeah, just that was dog horrible. shit. You get no dope killing and bots. And then you go to ranked and we can't win a game. No. Nah. There's like yeah. no in between. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What about the, the pay to win? Buy it. Like, sometimes I did feel like if I would buy a gun or buy a skin and I go into matchmaking, it does. That only it works could be in the Val. placebo effect. Only in Val. Let's see, like in Valorant, if you buy a skin and you go into a game, it's like, I'm hitting headshots easy. <laughs> yeah, I swear. It's like, is it? 
What's going on with this? Mm. Suddenly, I buy a bundle, I go into a game, and I can shoot straight? I mean, it's the skin. Like, like once I sound like lasers, like, pew, pew. Versus but, the normal skinned one. I think they just get you more doped up. Oh, maybe. Awesome. Valor, Val? Uh, I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done with Valorant. Yeah, Wait, so I, I, I've hits. said this multiple times, but like I got decent at Valorant to where it was enjoyable. First, it was like fun to play. First, it was fun to play and troll, and then I got decent, and then I stopped playing. I think Warzone came out, or or no, I was doing the GGCS tournament, so I didn't play Valorant for like two months, and then I started playing again. I just felt uncomfortable in my chair, like my. The way I'm holding my mouse and stuff. And then I was just getting shit on. I was like, yeah, I'm probably never playing this game again. Yeah, but so uh, I'm done with Valorant. What, what about like Call of Duty, though? Like, are you like, are you like loving it? Uh, because I am. I like, it's weird. I like competitive. I like ranked more than Warzone. Of course. But ranked every single game at my skill level, it's just, there's so many good players to me like how many motherfuckers out there are on my level and i'm at the bottom yeah like there's a lot the, of cheaters there's me then yeah. there's like the top of the rank kids then there's like the top 250 kids then there's the challengers then there's cdl like how far at the bottom am i and these motherfuckers are still correct yeah like i i just feel like i don't play bots like in warzone like playing with our squad we could just like run around. I die. Oh no! I spectate Seth a little bit, talk to Chad a little bit, sit back in my chair, chill, respawn, run around the map a little bit, talk, talk bullshit, and then like maybe towards the end it gets it gets a little serious, or we match like a good, or we find like good players, and then it gets serious. So what it's you, like what more. Would you always say? It's, I gotta I gotta go MLG mode. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I gotta go MLG mode. Like I'm back on the MLG main stage. Fuck yeah! Whenever you run in, across to like, um playing like good people but in warzone it's more so like chill for the most part and i i like kind of enjoyed that and then in, switching over to ranked started playing it at first and it was like felt like i was it was fun getting better every single game and i felt like i was improving but like i was I, even in like gold i'm like dude how are these kids a challenge for me like and it's just now I'm <laughs> then I got plat then diamond then now I'm crimson and it's like dude every game is just a total war yeah and it's like I I like I'm exhausted after yeah. playing seven hours yeah. I'm exhausted yeah yeah, yeah. love and that I'm like shit. I can't I say I can't do it but I am doing it so it's like I don't know I I I, I enjoy it but there is a part of me that just wants to like chill or like play warzone or something but it's like dude no one wants to watch me go back and play warzone and none of y'all are playing warzone so no i think i'm stuck with ranked and it's just a fucking war every what? ranked game and i'm playing <laughs> the most crack kids this yeah, guy might it? be cheating there's no death yeah, cam yeah. Like, there's no death yeah, that, that, that's annoying it's just stressful what did byron say at the event he looked down like remember you told me that Oh he's, yeah, I'm in war. Yeah, no, he looked across. He looked across the stage. He's like, I am in war right now, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> It's so it's hilarious, bro. It was comedy. That literally means your teammates it, going back on it, through it's it. Comedy, that though. was probably the craziest fucking map of his life. No, he looked shell shocked. He's like, <laughs> 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 it was fucking comedy. Dude, that's how I feel in matchmaking. So looking back on it, it's hilarious, dude. That when you first told moment, me that, huh? Oh. But in the moment, dude, in the moment, I was like. Dude, fucking Focus. get your, your yeah, like <laughs> don't don't check my dope down here. Listen, I I I fucking uh, be honest. When you got home last night, did you play a game of ranked? Did you no. want to play a game? I did. Did, did you multiple? Yeah, I played multiple. Yeah, but he got pissed off. Yeah, he, so he told right. his teammates they got they got to get in the lab. Straight dookie, <laughs> bro. They're so I yell bad. I yell at all my teammates all the time. I'm like, don't play ranked if you don't have a fucking microphone. I bro, I dropped fifty. We were up two zero in the control. I dropped fifty. They came back and won three two. I went in the game chat. I'm like, bro. my team is fucking garbage. You know what? Everyone in this lobby's fucking garbage. And they're like, whatever makes you feel better, bro. I'm so <laughs> 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 Get out of you, uh, bro. <laughs> I, oh. I get fucking verbaled every game. A lot of times it'll be like, love you, love you, maniac, or like something like that. But it'll be, I don't, especially in S and D, yeah. they'll go up like three zero. And then someone on the other team will just cut on their mic. Maniac, you're fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's his teammate. Yeah, go back to Halo. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't say anything because it's just like, 
Ooh. Like they're winning. What am I gonna fucking say? Like they're just they're gonna end up fucking winning this match. It just dude when they talk shit when they talk shit. So I'm like I'm like they're right, guys. We gotta fucking turn up. They're right. Look, they get to say it because they're up. Let's fucking win this shit. When I get in there, yo, is this a real hack? I'm like, yo, it's me, but let's focus up. You got to carry these 44-year-old hands. They're not what they used to be, so I need you to do your utmost. I'm going to be the hill kitten, as I usually have. I'm king objective. And I end up being, you know. Is that right? Yeah. Listen, I, I will say, though. How the times have changed. I will say, though, it is so demoralizing, right? <laughs> but it's part of the reason why I like it. When like I log in and I'm playing like uh like I just logged on and then after like a game or two I, I was playing Silver again I was like no fuck no I gotta be playing the fucking because I'm usually playing what's what's the teal ones Plat. yeah Plat. that's what I usually go up against and when they talk shit I'm like yo you're playing a gold motherfucker you're going your your SR is going down that's why you're meeting me I'm on my way up that's why I'm meeting you yeah period and then, but it's demoralizing period. when you're when you're down there you're like oh. It but is uh, I love. Though, I fucking. I wish I was playing experience. that shit right now. I literally like. That's all I want to do. It's I definitely a lot it. better when you have a party of four, nah. or three, or even two. So I've Just been someone. solo. Eighty percent of my shit has been solo. Ninety nine point nine nine nine. And then it gets a little better, but it's uh, it's stressful. Ninety nine point nine 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 percent of all of mine are that. Some some kid got mad at me yesterday. I was fucking died. He's like, yo yo, let's. let's. He's like, yo, you playing solo? I'm like, yeah, that's all I play. Man. I only I only play solo. He's like, you wanna you you wanna uh party up? And I'm like, I'm like no man. So I just said I just you know play solo. He's like, come on man, play solo. And then his boy's like, you know what man? Fuck you, hex and fuck <laughs> optic. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, and then the, I, was, I started laughing in the, the street because I, I was actually kind of funny. He's like, fuck you and fuck optic. And that is the matchmaking experience. <laughs> I love it, man. I I uh, I haven't had a bad one like no one's really like disrespecting me or shit like are that. y'all excited to play ranked again or is it just gonna die out again no like what it did last i will play this game until i am dead i'm excited to play again my my only concern is can't wait to go home the, and play. the cheating scenario so i mean it's uh, it's i have to get ps5 it's gotta get better like they have to do something about it because it's just, it's just gonna kill ranked like so many people have already switched over to ps5 it's, they, it's, it's just gonna kill ranked. they don't give a fuck if they switch. should no, because it's probably like I. It'll die quick if they. It don't will do die something. quick. I think it's already like, the hype around it's already died. Now everyone's waiting for Warzone rank to come out. It's been out for like a week, and everyone's already because the cheating. Like, why would people want to grind to get to Crimson and then just get cheated on every game? And there's no death. What's cams. the point of grinding? You're just, you're just grinding to get mad later. I'm actually happy. Look, I hate that there isn't any any uh, death cam, but at the same time, I'm like, man, my experience would be so much more different like yeah crazy they if have there to was. add a kill cam they have to yeah the fact they don't have a kill cam is like what are y'all doing like this is the only way we can tell if someone's walling why do you not have a yeah kill cam? i mean that could make sense that's why at all because they don't sense. have an answer for it they don't have an anti-cheat so they said fuck so you kill just, cam? yeah the fuck no kill cam halo doesn't have a kill Appar cam. apparently there was a uh, or people in my chat were saying they were gonna have an update for kill cams like i don't know how you just can't have that first and you need some update for it, but apparently they're going to do an update for kill cams because half of my deaths, I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, <laughs> I've, it, and it's like subconsciously, I'm like waiting for the kill cam, but it never pops up. Yep. It's like ingrained in my brain that I'm going to get to watch how this idiot killed me, but I just never can. Dude, so I'll then be... I'm even more mad. Then I'm like, I don't know. Are they cheating? Then I'm in my head. Then I slightly give up. But then I regain MOG mode. Then I fight to <laughs> war. Then I lose 250 to 248 because we didn't hold P2. Then I'm pissed. On terminal? On Skid Row. Oh, oh yeah. The impossible. hill popped. Or the game started. I'm going P2. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so stupid. I'm, I'm in a... I don't know if I like the game. <laughs> spawn security, push up five feet. They spawn security. Yeah. Like the spawns and... I don't know. It is, it is fun, but off. there's some there's some stuff that pisses me. Bro, I was in a a control. Control high rise, went last map. We were on defense. We were up like 19 to 6 kills. Or 19 to 6 lives. And they didn't cap either point yet. I don't even think they had a tick on either point, and we lost. It was insane. The most insane loss I've ever been a part of. I was mind blown. And I said before <laughs> that, I won like five straight. I won like five straight. I was like, I'm going to play one more. I'm in a good mood. Let me play one more. Try to, I'm going to try hard. 
try to get a dub, get off in a happy mood, enjoy the rest of my day. And then that happens. We are oh. like 19 to six lives. They capped two points off their six lives. Yeah. And, and we lose. And we lose. I was sick. It was sick to my stomach. <laughs> and then like after, like while we were losing, I was playing open mic because I was communicating with my team trying to win. And as we lost, I was like, no way. And then someone on the other team goes, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just, I was so, funny. they started laughing. Like, I was so mad. It genuinely ruined my fucking day. That's great. But isn't that the point, though, that a video game can have that sort of effect on your mental and on your physical? I'd be telling myself, why do I care? No, but it. Or I'll be in an S and D, like, nervous. I'm in a 1v1. Yeah. Like, I don't know where he is. And I'm like, what? Who cares? This is what I try to <laughs> remind myself, but oh, I, care. I, I had a very, very like a fucking super dopamine. Fuck, some dude was talking shit, and I got, the, I got the fucking photo too. I'll show you. Fucking we're playing control. <laughs> we were playing control on uh, on on high rise, and the same kid that was talking shit to me was a one v one in the end to win the game. I fucking shit on him. Really? I was like, oh, I fucking. <laughs> I, <laughs> I muted my, my Go XLR, boom, 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 and I just walked away. I'm like, oh, I went to the uh, kitchen. What's up, girl? What you doing? I'm going right, to make some food and shit. I'm, I'm done playing for the day. <laughs> but I had, I had uh, the purple flames and shit, and I was I'm like, hell yeah. Now next, I, I didn't even want to play for the rest of the day so that the next time that fucking Hutch and Diesel got on, they would see that I'm purple, and they was up funny. to them on whether or not I kept my flames. And guess what? They let me down. <laughs> you lost your flames? I did. Damn. The good old ranked experience. I personally am in love with it. I, I'm, I'm super, super, super happy about it. Um, let's take a quick commercial break. Let's say hello to the sponsors, and then we'll be right back. Part of the interruption, but first, we're going to say hello to FanDuel. Uh, as you guys know, Optic and FanDuel have teamed up uh, where everybody gets a free 2024 uh, jersey uh, when you sign up to FanDuel at FanDuel.com forward slash Optic Jersey. Link in the description. Uh, and you make a sports uh, book wager of at least $20 within the 30 days of the sign up to be eligible, of course. Now, let me tell you something about this jersey before you do. This is the only clean jersey that we're going to print this year. Every other jersey is going to have sponsors of some kind. I know some of you collectors have uh, ones that are special because one of them had uh, a Popeye's logo over something else or, you know, so those sort of things. There are variants of these jerseys that we do. This one specifically is, I, I really like because it's a clean version of it. There's no other thing on it. I was super excited about this just simply because one, uh, it, it allows you to participate at a deeper level when you are, uh, you know, predicting certain things. So, with that said, you get the brand new 2024 jersey along with a $150 bonus bet that is guaranteed. After placing your bet, make sure that you check your email to follow instructions on how to claim your jersey. Don't want to miss out on this limited time offer? Sign up for FanDuel and place your bet now. You got to use the link down below or you are not eligible. That's FanDuel.com forward slash optic jersey to claim your newest jersey for 2024. Uh, and now... Cheese it. You guys saw me munching on these on the on the on the podcast. Uh if you need a snack to fuel your gaming session, look no further. You don't have to touch it. You can just pour it down the hatchet uh, right away. Um uh, it's made with 100% cheese and baked to crispy to crunchy perfection. Cheese it duos are our cheesiest gaming snack. And if you visit cheeseit.com, link in the description, or visit a store near you, you can keep the game going without getting out for a snack. And I certainly like that because as soon as I got there, I hadn't eaten at all that day and these snacks kept me on the watch party until the end of the watch party so super hype about that uh next we have shopify so you guys know we've been using shopify for the longest time whether you are a up-and-coming uh business or you are a well-established business you need shopify to connect to your customers to be able to provide things that they want to share with you the only way that you can share something with them and then the, the, the way that, that your fans and your supporters give you their love back is by supporting you by 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 buying your jersey, buying your t-shirts, and that sort of thing. So I will forever be thankful to the Green Wall for that, uh, and obviously Shopify for making that uh, connection super easy. Uh, Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. As I just mentioned, whether you're selling uh, dog leashes, as my wife does, on liveandlearn.com, or if you're like me, who sells the mini walls on the website. We haven't done that in a while, but that's that's what I, I did use to use. So from the launch of your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the best internet conversion rate checkout at 36% or better uh, on an average compared to other leading commerce uh, e-commerce platforms. Uh, and you can sell 
more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Uh, look, as you guys know, obviously from the beginning, we didn't know any of this. We didn't know any, I didn't know anything about business. So figuring out what, how to get shirts to you guys, like, you know, Shopify helped me do that. So I, I'll always be thankful for that. So plus, Shopify's award-winning help is here to support your success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. So if you sign up right now for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash optic, all lowercase, if you go to shopify.com slash optic, link in the description now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in, shopify.com slash optic. Last, but certainly not least, we have Factor. And I and Maddie use, you know, usually split our meals. Especially now in the new year, as it is in every January, I try to, you know, sort of reset on the way that I was eating the day before, especially towards the end of the year. So having a an already prepared meal ready to go that is uh, not as detrimental to your health as others, right? Like if you go out and get a something, you know, like a, name name any great food that tastes out there, uh, you are going to be suffering the consequences after, whether it's by having to hit the gym to lose those pounds or not. But me personally, having these two-minute meals available have literally helped me stay under 210. You're welcome. Uh, Factors delicious, uh, delicious, ready-to-eat meal make eating better every day easy. Uh, wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready and prepare with chef crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. And they are delicious, by the way. Uh, you'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. What are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go. Uh, snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy for entire uh, day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale options that are done easily. And they are literally pop that thing for 2.30. Make sure that you pop the, the plastic, though, so that some of the steam can be released. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess in your microwave. I didn't find that out. I knew that. I have logic in here. Uh, and guess what? More importantly, it's flexible for your schedule, especially a schedule like mine. You get as much or as little as you need by by choosing 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Are you going on a trip? Are you going somewhere? Put a pause button on that. And then when you get back or while you're on the, on, the, on the trip, turn that back on so that when you can get back, it's already taken care of for you. All the headache, all the hassle. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, no cooking, and no cleanup needed. Uh, the fork, because so I don't use a plastic one. Uh, so anyway, if you head over to factormeals.com slash optic50 and use code optic50 at checkout, you can get 50% off of your first box and two free wellness shots per box while subscription is Active. That's code OPTIC50 at factormeals.com slash OPTIC50 to get 50% off your first box and two free wellness shots per box while the subscription is active. Back to the podcast. Mr. Beast earned $250,000 for posting an old YouTube video on Twitter. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. It, it's sort of crazy. Uh, he, he himself even said it. Like, um... It was also like boosted to shit, wasn't it? Yeah, well, because he was making a thing about it and because people were watching to make be a part mm -hmm. of the show, then advertisers started dumping money into it because it, there was going to be a lot of um a, a lot of concentration of eyeballs in it's there. It's not what it's always going to be. No, 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 no. no. That's I mean, still that's still nuts. crazy. Yeah, 250,000 for So normally it would probably be like what, like 50 to 80 for and, him, yeah. And it was an old video. Yeah. It wasn't even like a new video that he like just re-uploaded an old one. I mean, he's in the process of cutting a hundred million dollar deal with who is it? Hulu or, or Amazon, Matt? Do you know? Netflix? No. Oh, it, it can't be Netflix. About to go into boxing. Yeah. They're going into boxing. Boxing. Go and boxing. And WWE. They're doing what? Going into boxing. So like all the free agent fighters and shit are about to get that fat bag to fight on oh, their platform. Oh, really? YouTuber Mr. Beast in talks with Amazon for a hundred million dollar TV deal. Damn! But I just don't know what the TV because Amazon. What is it? Amazon TV or is it Prime TV? Prime. It's Prime. just Prime Video. It's just Prime Video. So that's what I'm saying. TV. Like, what does that mean? Like, uh, I don't use Prime Video. Yeah, that's a good point. Often. I'll click it randomly. Oh, I mean, like, to but see, like, like how? Are they just clutching? Surprise me, please. Did they clutch up and put out something crazy. Well, the Amazon Prime has. Uh, 
uh, the bear, no? And they just won a bunch of awards. Is that what it was on? That's what I'm like. Ju just watched, watched both seasons or three seasons, whatever, and she finished it all. And like she said, it was like it was such a good show. She's like, you'll love oh, it. That's why. Pe that's how people. That's how they like build their. They have like ex a, an exclusive show to their platform, and then people come over. Yo, you got to get Amazon Prime. Yeah, da, that's da, why da. HBO is like every HBO original is just it's insane. Same with like Apple TV for all mankind. Slow horses. I mean, like I haven't watched Slow Horses. I I did. I only watched like a couple episodes. Or Severance, but it's good. I, there's a lot. Of, I haven't watched Silo either. Silo was great. But I'm yeah. about to be on a 13 hour flight to Tokyo uh, coming up, and I just I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch that on there. You did like it's. I am about to be fucked because you know that I don't change. <laughs> I don't change my sleeping schedule for nothing. Like, you when with I went the family. To, yeah, when I went to London. I know. I woke up at two p.m. and I went to bed at four a.m. That's how it went. Piccadilly, that's my spot. Hippodrome, second home. I want to go to Tokyo. We all need to go to Tokyo. I right, would you, if you know. Would you be down Maybe if we do London. like a like an like an optic visits Tokyo, like an optic idiots, uh, like an, an idiots optic version, and we go to Tokyo. You'd be down for real. Yeah, so Tokyo's like there's only Hawaii, Tokyo. But if we stop in Hawaii on the way to Tokyo, we spent like four days in Hawaii, and then we do the the week in Tokyo. Damn, uh, the girl oh might not be Are you? happy about when? That. What if you bring the girl to Tokyo? I mean, to uh, to Hawaii, but not Tokyo. Then we can do anything. Really? <laughs> I'm eyeballing it. If she's involved, then we, I, I'm free to do whatever. What? I'm not gonna be on the watch party though. What island? I don't know. I was just looking. Let's go to Turks. Are you? Like, I was, no, I was actually looking yesterday. The I was Turks just and Caicos. Flights and shit. We went to Maui, and Maui was great. That Hawaiian Maui Wowie. Mm. I haven't had that since high school. <laughs> yeah, fucking tough. Oh, yeah. yeah. This weekend was it. <laughs> it was a good weekend. No, I didn't I didn't hit any I didn't hit any of the Maui Wowie Wowies out there. But they got it. <laughs> Bulls and I were hitting a little bit For of that sure. Maui Wowie legal in, in Boston. We're we're Hawaiian Maui. We're just uh we're just quoting Nick Kirshner references to each oh, other, yeah. cracking Same. up. Yep, that's what just we a did. clown in this fucking. No, we we're, 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 we're just... say you're the funniest. It was a great week. Like this is probably one of my favorite events that I've ever been to in terms of like yeah. just what we what we did what 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 we were doing on the watch party. Like everything was just great. Like, like <clears throat> I'm telling you, you got to go to bar. Like like I went to the dispensary. I don't remember. Went last across time the I street. Went. They're like, yeah, you can go to the smoke shop across the street. I'm looking, and it's just the way it's built. I'm like. It would be right in front of me. Like, I would see the sign. As I get closer to the street, I look, uh, like, underneath the building, and there's that. You got to walk downstairs to the bottom of the basement to where the store is. I'm like, that shit looks fire. Yeah. Was it, like, snowing or any anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really? A little bit. That, like, that sets a vibe. When you're traveling somewhere and it's snowing, that's always a vibe. Like, when I got there, it was, like, coming down, like, nice and slow. And I, while I was waiting for my Uber. It's I'm nighttime, like, and it's just. This shit's a vibe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I loved it, man. You gotta you, come to. You gotta come. Why don't you At go? Least. You should have filled in for me for the first couple of days. You yeah. should have filled in for me like the Saturday and Sunday, dude. People say <laughs> people say this all the time to me on, on my stream. Like, why don't you go in the watch party? And I just I feel self conscious about that's number one. Like, if you're I'm with a, your friends that you've known for over a fucking decade, but who you've been in front of the camera with for over it's not a about decade. them. It's about the hundred and twenty thousand viewers. They fuck with you. They've been called, fucking with you for ten years. That are Call of Duty fans, and it's just like I feel like no, I wouldn't want to just sit there with like nothing to say because like when we do the Halo watch parties, I can be like, oh, he's pushing here. Yeah. All right, this team starting off. We got Lucid pushing this. Or, like some like I have like. You play that's enough rank to my, know some. That's just my vibe on a watch party is like speaking like that, speaking on what's going on, knowing what's going on, who's playing well, all the good Royal 2, cut him off, stayed alive there, good play. In Call of Duty right now, I just don't feel like I'd like be But that's, that wouldn't that. be your role. You have those roles Think already about it. filled when in. When I first yeah. came on with the first show, I didn't know who was on any teams or anything. I mean, like, we can try it out with. What what's the next one? Some Miami. of the, some of the Miami? online ones. Where when a March twenty one uh, to the so in two weeks it's actually oh, kind of far away because in two weeks there's in seventeen days five weeks of matches start. But so it goes in, so oh it's like it's God. like seven weeks away until the next. Two, it's event. like two. Oh, this is a split, right? Two, three. Yeah. So it's dude. It's weird. So we have seventeen days, and then so the first split was only four weeks of of COD. That's why it was three, four, three, three, four, four. Two matches. Bro. Now it's five weeks a for day, for day? the Miami major. What do you mean? 
look at so we're gonna come watch party on Friday at two for those two matches. Yeah, there's only two matches. So this split, it's two you're three. Gonna be, you're ready. Two, oh three, hell yeah! Two, I think. <laughs> Keeps going down, Matt. So it's two three three, three three three. So it's two three 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 for five weeks. So two three 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 three, three two three. That's three, crazy. Three, three, Not three, really. Three. Yeah. So are we gonna come up with How like does the a Matthew little? Work? We're just gonna watch for. It could be. It could literally be a DoorDash. It could be our day. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That's why I mean it benefits us because our big thing is we can't stream on Twitch because we have so much other shit going great on point. with the watch party and shit. Great so point. like these next two splits actually are great for like for me. You could just go to that setup. Yeah, that's why. That I, well, sense. maybe we can do a maniac tryout for the online CDL watch party. Yeah, dude, Saturdays and Sundays are wide open. Yeah. But then Carolina, the last major, it goes back to four weeks, three, four, four. We can uh, try it out. Yeah, we totally do. You, you, you I do, do have you a do great. I do have a haircut in ten minutes, and we started the podcast forty minutes late. So, well, listen, if you got to go, unfortunate, gotta... but I might have to bail right now. Yeah, do it, bail out, dude. You're good. Because look at the look at how you look. Go immediately. <laughs> a haircut is needed immediately. I, I, I'm only saying that because he himself. What man, Joey? Joey just looked at me, gave me the side eye. All right, well then go do that, and then we'll we'll finish up right here, man. On, uh, Peace on out, this. pod. Um, I, I do, I do want to talk about this because I, I, I am one that would. Would you Neuralink? Um, what's that mean? Yes, use me as test subject number two, please. You put a, you put a, a chip, chip in your brain. For what? I don't know. Just think and pull up your phone, like you just can, like. Like you can say, uh, but I can say that now. Like, watch this. Hey Siri, call Scump. See. I don't have nothing in my brain, and she's already doing yeah, this Yeah, I know, shit. but it's so slow. Imagine be instantaneously. Imagine you could be like, well, he's got imagine I could be like, yeah, then by thinking, the not talking, by thinking, tech Seth, yo, I'm about to get an Uber. Yeah, then they flip the switch, yep. and you're like that, boom. What a... Go, go, they put the coding it? in, matter of fact. They tell you to go assassinate. Go attack Optic Bows it right like, now. Uh, the Kingsman. That's the movie that, where assassinate. they... Assassinate public figure and you just see a bunch of them fucking down just, walking down the street they're just ignoring everybody getting hit by cars standing up just walk, walk still walking <laughs> i've seen too many movies for this shit i'll pass elon <laughs> thank you though no <laughs> i am uh I, i'd be down just to see what i mean i, I don't know i want to see it it's like are you gonna get are you gonna get the uh the, you're not gonna get it are you you're not gonna get it either the, the, the no, apple no, no. i'm not gonna the, need it the apple glasses the apple what are they called isn't it for sleep the Wait, what Pro. are those, Matt? Talk to me. Yeah, Matt. Talk to me. Vision Pros. What's those? Yeah, I'm not getting that. Pre-order Apple Vision Pro. 6,300 buckaroos, kid. <laughs> Take it off my screen. Take uh, it. What is it for? I, I don't know. What, I, I want to know what it does, though. Look at that. They look so fucking cool. It's for sleeping? No, it's not for sleeping. Oh. No, no, no. It's like, I, I, this is my thing. Like, how heavy is that? You know what I'm saying? That's that's like and my only thing. But screen. like, imagine wearing those on a plane. Like, you'd be good. You could you could lean oh, back. You're watching. I mean, a movie. it basically replaces television. Like, look at it. If you if you have that, you just have a fucking projector in your in your room. It replaces all screens. Yeah. It replaces your TV. It replaces your computers. It replaces your phone. My only worry is how damaging is that to your eyes? Like having that fucking that many pixels r this far from your face. For extended periods of time, that can't be good for your eyes, unless you, they have like a workaround. Yeah, I mean it's it's clear vision; you can see, still see through it. So the adjustment of your retina as it hyper focuses on one distant thing over a close thing, like the exercise will still be there. And maybe, yeah, I mean I don't know. I want I want it because I want to try it, but I am a firm believer that you know. Remember those? Well, you guys don't, but the cell phones used to be these big brick gray shits. Big, big cell phones. And sometimes you used to have to carry a suitcase to make the cellular call. But now look at them. Not only a phone, but also a computer and also... Yeah, it's just, entertainment. Oh. It's everything. So, so, so uh, good. So, I don't know. Are you going to get designs on your head or just a regular fade? <coughs> yeah, good, man. Keep your keep, hair looks good, man. Yeah, I would. Anyway, I don't know. Um, this kick sponsors esports organization Bleed Sports. We're not talking about the Bleed team, are we? Am 
Valorin and CS2 or Bleed. Now, there used to be a, a clan back in the day called Bleed Team. You know who was the leader of it? Bleed? Dr. Disrespect, the Bleed Team. Um, what Does it say any, any, uh, uh, any of the important aspects of it? How much are they getting paid? There's, there's, there's no finance info on there. Uh, well, good for them, man. I think. Look, we saw a bunch of kick uh, hoodies in the in, in yeah. Boston. That was pretty cool. Really, I didn't see any. I was trying to strike. You know. I didn't see any. Balls, Balls was trying to strike deals, but I'm like, oh, they're just wearing kick shit, man. They're not <laughs> reps. He's like, I'm being recruited right now. <laughs> I'm like, no. uh, this good. Um, there was a footage that was released. I want to talk about this a little bit because. Footage that never released of 2013 Call of Duty Future I Warfare. This. I didn't you saw see that? it. I didn't. I did. Yeah. So, you know, it, ultimately they did end up going to space, but like three three years later. Uh, oh, man, look at these menus. NX1. Look at the Skittle right there. The A Skittle. And it oh. was made by Neversoft. Moon Base Assault, full mission. Why was it... I used to fucking love uh, their their like uh, title screen, Neversoft with the eye. Yeah. I used to love that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, imagine. This would have been the mission. Where's the gun shooting and, and gun slinging? I mean, this is just like the, the cinematic. Yeah. Bro, this is like like advanced warfare. The fuck was that? Aim down sight, kid. Got one bullet per or two? It's got two bullets per. Sh yeah. All right, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. It Matt, looks cool. Appreciate it. What never was? Never soft. What never was? <laughs> never soft. That's good, Seth. That's really good. I I I I'm I'm personally like, I don't I, I just like Call of Duty. Period. I'll play any Call of Duty. If they said World at War coming out tomorrow, I'm back on World at War. But look at what it says right under that. I would love like a world, like a, not World War II, but like a World, world at War COD. Oh, like a World of War? Fuck yes. I love yeah, that. That's my favorite game. Like. Which one? Wow. World well, at War. Yeah. Wow. World at War was not all that. Dude. No. You had, you had MP44 so juggernaut noobs running around. But again, we'll, I don't think we'll ever have this style of Call of Duty again because of Warzone. Yeah. No, I'm. We'll I'm, never have this style. I'm, of I'm cool. I'm cool, man. Like no I, attachments, fucking just juggernaut, lightweight, and another perk, stopping yeah. power, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. We'll see that that it. that I like. I don't like. I, I, look, if, if we went back to like some Call of Duty four, like movement or Battalion 1944 movement, like I like even this game right now is not that bad. Like I see people sniping. I'm just like, I don't even have like the urge to pick up a scope and just represent for mines as I used to. I was just like, it's just like whack. I'm just like, not not my thing. But go back to the list, Matt. I want both to read the fo the, the the following uh, bullet before, before that would have taken place of ghosts. I like ghosts. I love ghosts too. Yeah, I love ghosts. That was my favorite game. Yeah. Wow. Won a gold medal. Well, you're on that? telling me that they were producing multiple games at a time, and the quality of them was as good as ghosts. Ghost pubs were horrible. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was one of the worst. But the maps for competitive and shit and how it played, you're telling me they had another game? Ready to go. And now we're getting hit with the same maps over and over? I don't mind it. I don't mind it this they game. They found the loop. They're like, we keep the maps. Uh, 100%. Why not keep the maps? Yeah, why not keep the maps? Keep the maps, but give us some the new loop. maps as well. Yeah. Don't like, just give us an old game. You don't like Greece? Huh? You don't like Greece? I haven't played Greece. What about meat meat district? I'm only gonna play the maps that are competitive. Yeah, same thing. At this point, I've never, but dude, I've I've been anti pub since 2000. I've been anti pub 10. since skill based. Nah, not me. I never played. I, was, I'm a, I used to fucking get off on going in there and just fuck. Yeah. Come here, Andy. How was your work day, Andy? <laughs> swarm. I don't know, swarm. Raps. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know how you get joy of beating people who you are infinitely better than. It's called pub stomping, and it's a weird kink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, you, uh, and a lot of people like it. 
Yeah, yeah, that that is that is your thing though. You, you've always been about that about that life. I love that shit. Um, any closing comments, gentlemen? What do you what do you got going on this week? I'm gonna stream some ranked. Nothing really. I don't got shit planned. No, nah, all right. What do you want to go to hit a game or something? Hell yeah, do it. We got optic night coming up. Sidekick, dude. Actually, you know shit. what? I'm not doing it. I'm I'm not doing anything this week. I got to prepare myself for this 13 hour trip. Uh, we've never taken a family vacation. My 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 girls and I. Yeah, enjoy it, man. Yeah, so I, I I definitely am going to. I'll probably uh so probably taking off today. We have content, but I'm probably doing content. Spend the day with Iz. She's going on a trip for a week. Yeah. Uh, I can't say where or why, but she's going on a trip for a week. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna hang out with her today. Probably get back to it tomorrow. Cool. Streaming. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have any suggestions for me while in Tokyo, please do. Although my man Brendan Dunn from the world famous Complex Sneakers show gave me a good list. My man Kenny's giving me a list. Lester Hokum, if you're fucking watching, Lester Chen, you pussy. Where's my shit? You promised me a list. I don't know what camera I'm looking at, but you promised me a list and I don't have it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Welcome back, and uh, we will see you guys next week. Hey. Hello.